Hello, I'm Kevin Hawkins with Kaku Kayak, and we're going to give an updated walkthrough on the Wahoo 12.5. Uh, at Kaku Kayak, our designs, we focus on performance first. Uh, so we're going to talk about the underside and the, the performance side of the Wahoo 12.5. Uh, you'll notice on the Wahoo 12.5, it's got a very unique hull design. Uh, it's very aggressive. Uh, this is a, a very high bow made to cut through the water as well as go over chop rough water boat wake uh, waves um, the, with the flare design of it, it it sprays the water out away so you don't get spray coming up over it's made to go over the waves instead of through them so it keeps it nice and dry and gives you just that nice secure feeling and uh, ease of going through uh, rougher water or paddling against the wind uh, you also notice that we have a, a pretty heavy rocker on the Wahoo 125. What this allows for is uh, the boat tracks really well, but adding extra rocker to it, this gives it more maneuverability. So this uh, whole design will be very fast, uh, but it'll still maneuver well. So uh, if you need to turn, going down twisty, turny rivers and stuff, you can easily maneuver it. Um, so then also you'll notice here we got a our modified hull design, our modified V hull design has a hard chine to it. What a hard chine does versus other hull designs out there is um, if your kayak is listing to the side or you're leaning to the side, it doesn't want to roll. It wants to come back to a flat position so it just gives you that uh, confident feeling in the water and great stability. It has a, a very deep uh, defined keel on it. This uh, allows for that good tracking um, and just good control out on the water. You also notice we got a uh, removable keel here. So this is allows us so if you're scratching up your keel, you're not ruining the hull. You can just remove this and uh, get another keel guard from us and just replace that no problem. So now as we talk about features of the 12.5, we've got uh, forward, rear, and side handles. Uh, this is one thing that we have updated over the past year. The old handles that we were using started getting a problem. Uh, so we did have to start having a little bit of problem with that. They had a plastic caps on the ends of them where they bolted in and uh, they started breaking for some reason. So we, we changed that and uh, went with these better handles here that don't have the plastic ends. Uh, they're very strong uh, and they work great. They work a lot better than the older handles do. We got four pad eyes here. Uh, these pad eyes just give you extra tie down uh, abilities so if you want to put a bungee up there for extra cargo uh, you can if you want to uh, strap down an insulated fish bag you can this gives you added uh, uh, storage feature if you need it the oval hatch here uh, this is a very nice hatch it's got a bag insert so you got some end hole storage as well as bag storage right here A uh, really great feature and unique feature about the Wahoo is the big open deck. So if you like a big roomy open deck, you've got it right here. This allows, so if you do like storage in this area, you can put it there. Um, I, sometimes I put a live well in here. Sometimes I put just extra tackle in here. Sometimes I leave it open. So if I'm going out, uh, you know, minimalist with the uh, light gear, I just got big open roomy here. We got two inserts at the, the front wall up here. That's just if you want to be able to put in some kind of tie down for tying down gear, you can. Um, they're not, you know, necessarily, we didn't put them there for any specific reason. They're just there if you, if you want to use them. Another feature that we updated for this year is uh, we, we put select design foot braces in here. Um, we switched this over from the foot braces we were using. They're still a very beefy uh, foot brace with no flex. So we like that about them. They also, uh, we like the, the rudder feature that comes with, um, that you can add to these foot braces. Uh, so that's a, a, a new feature that we added last year. You got forward and back aluminum, uh, extruded aluminum T-tracks. These are good high quality T-tracks. I got it un not bolted in there just so I could kind of show it to you. but. Um, you don't need any kind of adapters. Any of the track mountable accessories out there fit these no problem. 
So uh, you got lots of accessory mounting abilities with 18 inches of the track up front, 12 inches at the back. Our aluminum chair, this aluminum uh, anodized uh, chair, it sits up nice and high. It doesn't, it has an adjustable back, but we made it the perfect height just to keep that center of balance perfect, but also giving you some height. So generally you're sitting about nine inches over the water in this chair, which is, is a good height. Uh, it's mounted with hand bolt knobs uh, with plastic clamps, so it gives very secure mounting, but uh, toolless uh, for you know taking the chair in and out. So that's a great feature there. We got a six-inch round hatch at the back with a bag insert here as well for some extra storage. Two flush-mounted rod holders, and then you got those 12-inch tracks I already mentioned earlier, right back here, so you can add additional rod holders or whatever you might need. You got a, a well in the back here that will fit a 30 quart cooler, no problem, um, or whatever else you might want to put in there, your milk crates and uh, things like that. You can fit a bigger cooler as well, you just have to turn it si uh, sideways. Uh, the 30 quart fits, fit, so you can have the door fit actually facing you, so it's easy to get in and out. Uh, bungee back here for extra tie down, and then with all Kaku designs, we've got integrated micro power pole mounting. Uh, so if you want to add a power pole, it's nice and easy to do. You don't have to buy any extra accessories to do it. It just bolts right in there. Um, it also is working great for a lot of the motor mounts that are coming out for you guys that like to motorize your kayaks. Uh, and then it's rudder ready. So if you do want to add a rudder, you can. The Wahoo doesn't come with a rudder because it doesn't really need it. Uh, kayaks that come with rudders is generally because they need it. Uh, we tell everybody that if you're thinking about using a rudder, try the kayak first. Yeah, most people find that it just doesn't need it, uh, depending on the situations you're in. You might be in heavy current and uh, things where you might find it necessary, but try the kayak first. And then if you want to add a rudder later, it's real easy to do. Uh, so that's the Wahoo 12.5. This is a fantastic kayak. It's got excellent stability for standing and fishing. Um, so it really achieves the perfect balance between speed uh, stability, maneuverability. Uh, you know, check them out at a dealer today and, and uh, ask the dealer to let you throw one in the water and try it. And uh, you'll see that this, this is one of the baddest kayaks on the water for sure. Uh, it's priced right, won't break the bank, so uh, at $9.99, uh, check one out. If you've got any questions, contact us and uh, we'll answer any questions you got. Thanks for watching.